Hi guys, previously I showed you how to make my favorite Ishgard windows. Here's a medieval door to match. To get started, you'll need the following items. Cast cracks, stage panels, glade wardrobes, Riviera chairs, a towel hanger, and a staggered shelf. On the main floor of your build, start by placing a cast rack and flipping it around backwards. Layer the cast racks and the stage panels by alternating them, one on top of the other, working your way forward. There are a couple of ways that you could orient the cast cracks, and to save on slots you could also ditch the stage panels altogether if you wanted. But having them sideways also allows you to get closer to the natural door. And I know some of you might be saying, Ellie, you can't click the exit through stage panels. But since there's going to be a little gap on the right hand side, you can still easily exit your home. And so can your guests. Once they're all roughly in position, get a little closer and tighten them up. The trim of the door is going to be made with glade wardrobes. Starting with the center wardrobe, flip it around and place it just a little in front of the other items. Then float it until it's near the point where the cast crack curves or that black line. Next, get the two remaining wardrobes and place them either side of the planks. You'll start to see the door taking shape. Here's the fun part, the hinges. Place the Riviera chairs and turn them 90 degrees. Push two chairs into the door until the colored part is hidden. We'll get to the third in a moment. Float the chairs about halfway up the door.
When you're about halfway, rotate one of them and continue floating until you're closer to the top. Okay, now without touching either chair, grab the third one and push it into the door like the previous two. You want to aim to have a fairly equal distance between the hinges and the top and the bottom of the door. The bottom chair won't be floated, so use this space as your guide. If you're a little off, adjust by floating up or down. Check it again, and if you're happy with the spacing, without touching the chair that's already been rotated, rotate the second chair. Now exit and re-enter your home. If I didn't completely confuse you, the first chair should have dropped back to the spot you initially rotated it at, while the second chair stays up top. Now you can straighten them up. You can repeat the previous steps of adjusting them up or down and re-entering your home if the spacing still looks a little off to you. Lastly, every door needs a handle, so grab your towel hanger and place it on a wooden beam. I like to put mine right up in the top corner, so when we flip it around, I can more easily see what I'm doing. Use the stage panel to center it on the right plank. And use the wooden beam to line it up somewhere around the same height as the middle hinge. Then push it slowly into place, and you can detach using the wall float glitch. Line up the staggered shelf below the towel hanger, and when it's pushed back just far enough so only the handle is peeking out, you can start to float it. If you overshoot your mark, float it back down. Okay, we're calling it good. Now lock it into place. And that's it. All we're missing now is trim. You could use mason work cheese collections and greenery to create a long abandoned cottage. 
or maybe you prefer something a little more lived in. But maybe try some patterned wallpaper and frame it with an archway, if a manor in Ishgard is more your style. Happy building!